Section 2 of Birds, Volume 1, Number 6, June 1897. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Yellow Throated Vireo. The popular name of this species of an attractive family is Yellow Throated Greenlet, and our young readers will find much pleasure in watching its pretty movements and listening to its really delightful song whenever they visit the places where it loves to spend the happy hours of summer. In some respects, it is the most remarkable of all the species of the family found in the United States, the Birds of Illinois. A book that may be profitably studied by the young naturalist states that it is decidedly the finest singer, has the loudest notes of admonition and reproof, and is the handsomest in plumage, and hence the more attractive to the student. A recognized observer says he has found it only in the woods, and mostly in the luxuriant forests of the bottom lands. The writer's experience accords with that of Audubon and Wilson, the best authorities in their day. But the habits of birds vary greatly with locality, and in other parts of the country, notably in New England, it is very familiar, delighting in the companionship of man. It breeds in eastern North America, and winters in Florida, Cuba, and Central America. The vireo makes a very deep nest, suspended by its upper edge between the forks of a horizontal branch. The eggs are white, generally with a few reddish-brown blotches. All authorities agree as to the great beauty of the nest, though they differ as to its exact location. It is a woodland bird, loving tall trees and running water, haunting the same places as the solitary vireo. During migration, the yellow throat is seen in orchards and in the trees along sidewalks and lawns mingling his golden colors with the rich green of June leaves. The vireos, or greenlets, are like the warblers in appearance and habits. We have no birds, says Tory, that are more unsparing of their music. They sing from morning till night, and, some of them at least, continue theirs till the very end of the season. The song of the yellow throat is rather too monotonous and persistent. It is hard sometimes not to get out of patience with its ceaseless and noisy iteration of its simple tune, especially if you are doing your utmost to catch the notes of some rarer and more refined songster. This is true also of some other birds, whose occasional silence would add much to their attractiveness. End of section 2. Recording by Valentina Vicelli.